Suppose one of the store procedure running very slow. The store procedure using cursor, insert, select and also loop. After observation, I found that this store procedure is displaying lot of row with the help of the cursor. I also notice beginning of the store procedure set no count on is missing. I added the set no count on at the beginning of the store procedure. And the performance of the procedure improved. We can consider this set option and remove unneeded message to reduce network traffic and improve the performance of store procedure. Set no count statement is very useful, so we need to know how to use set no count. Set no count of by default, set no count each of SQL Server so the number of affected row in the message. Set no count on. Once we enable it, we do not get the number of affected row in the output. Select data from a table and check message. You can see the number of a row affected. Beginning of this script, I added set no count on. Now run it and check the message. We do not get the message number of a row affected. Second example, let's run this store procedure. Check the message, you receive the number of a row affected. Alter this store procedure and add set no count on. Run this store procedure, you can see no message. So, if store procedure working with million of a data, adding set no count on great helpful to reduce the network traffic and increase the performance of store procedure.